Hey friends, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly, and I'm eating peas out of the garden. Mmm, delicious. You know, it's funny. I was editing a video one night and uh, after I'd come out in the garden, I'd picked about 10 peas, pea pods. And while I was walking around the garden, I ate them. And uh, I went in and started editing. Didn't think anything of it. It was about bedtime and I said, huh, have I had anything to eat for supper? It's like, thinking back and I said, no, all I remember eating is some pea pods out of the garden. <laughs> and I wasn't hungry. It was just the fact that I was just so busy and just not thinking. I went, what did I eat? About 10 pea pods. Yeah, enough to fit in my hand. Just walk around, and eat them like a bag of chips. Don't taste like a bag of chips, but they're pretty darn good. So, Thought I'd come out and get another little snack. And while I was walking around, I noticed that my garlic is ready to come out of the ground. I don't want to wait too long because it'll go too far. I think they're just right, I'm hoping. I've dug down around and looked at the bulbs a little bit. They're not super huge, but it's more garlic than I had when I began with, right? So, pretty excited about that. So I thought I'd bring you along show you how I can tell that they're ready. Pull them out and let's see what we got. And also before I forget, if you hadn't noticed, I'm wearing the Green Acre hat. I'm representing for you, Michael and Sarah. Thank you for the hat. We won a little contest Michael had, um, sending pictures in of your garden. And we he had a few winners and we happen to be one of them, which is awesome because we're like their biggest fans, so. I mean, why not? We should win, right? <laughs> um, we ended up getting uh, a jar of maple syrup, which is so, so good. It's delicious. It's great. Super sweet. Love it. Um, and also uh, a jar of um, maple sugar, which is, I tried it. I got a little spoon out and ate a little of it. So good. They make them here, there's a place uh, here that makes little molds of like moose heads and deer and lobsters and things like that. And it's made out of maple sugar and they just put them in the molds and pack them in really tight. I'm sure they add other stuff to make them stay together, but um, those are really good. Those have always been one of my fav favorites and my son really loves them too. So once in a while I'll send them out to Colorado to him when, uh, when I stop at that store to pick some up. So yeah. It's really good stuff. Um, we also got an awesome sticker. Don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my stickers. I really need to do something really cool with them. I wanted to say thank you to Michael and Sarah at the Green Acre. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. They're pretty, pretty awesome people. They have an awesome channel, um, full of knowledge. And uh, I really enjoy, enjoy the whole thing, the family, their yard, um, everything that they're doing over there. I think it's great. I'll put a link down in the box, the description box down below to their channel. So it's easy. You just go down there, click, take you right to their channel and check them out and uh, tell them Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid sent you. So this is my garlic bed that I have. Um, not super huge, but it's big enough. And I planted this last fall. It is a hard neck garlic uh, from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. It's called Bogotar, I believe. I'll put the, the name of it down below. So the way that I can tell that my garlic is ready is the bottom leaves of the garlic. The last bottom, the leaves are um, show the different skin that's on the or layers that are on the garlic and um, 
as the skin wears off, these die off. So the bottom three are the ones that you need to look for. Once they turn brown like this, brown, yellow, it's time to take them. This one had three, one of them fell off down here. This one just came off because I pulled it. And then this one, so that's three. It's turning yellow on top. I don't want it to go too much further than that because then it will be past time to pull it and I want to get it drying and get it going. So I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna use this shovel and I'm just gonna kinda go back and down beyond it and just kinda loosen it up so that I don't damage the bulb but I wanna loosen it so it's still hooked and get it out of the ground here. Maybe. There we go. We have had rain. You really should wait till you have no rain for a few days and not water it. But we have had rain. But anyway, there's a little little garlic bulb. It's not huge, but it'll do. I think some of these other ones are probably a little bigger. I'm hoping. There's some bigger plants in here. Another little guy. Let's see if we can find some bigger ones. Well, there's the garlic all dug up. It's supposed to be dry for the next day, day and a half. So I'm going to leave those here as long as the chipmunks leave them alone and don't try and dig them up or anything else for that matter. As long as they don't uh, peck at them and try to eat them. I'm going to leave them here. But I was going to show you this one that I found that grew together. So here's one that I dug up that grew together um, and I didn't put two in there but for some reason maybe I did I don't remember but geez I think I would remember if I put two together but anyway they grew together and they kind of indented each other there which is kind of too bad but they have skin on them so I think once they dry and cure for a while I think they'll be fine if not we can use them We'll use them up. But um, yeah, we've got a couple of them in there. Here's another one. So this one, this one grew together as well. There we go. When it does that, it just kind of makes a flat side how they grew. And so like I said, I'm gonna leave these here a couple days let them dry. Really, you should wait till and not water them before you uh, before you pull them up for, you know, three, four or five days, something like that. Not water them. It may be no rain. Um, and that way they won't have the dirt caked into on them and then the roots and stuff as bad. We just had a bunch of rain, but um, I wanted to get these pulled up before they went beyond what they were supposed to be because um, they can go beyond 
the stage of when they're supposed to be picked and not be as good and start to rot and stuff. So I didn't want that. They're not that big, you know. Most of them are about like that, probably half dollar, maybe a little more. Um, but that's okay, it's garlic. Garlic is garlic. I think I've said that before. <laughs> um, that's okay, we'll make, we'll make use of it, whether I do powder with it or if I just cut it up and put it in something. So I'm gonna let these sit for a couple days, dry up, try and get most of the dirt off. I'm gonna cut the tops off and we have a dryer that I'm gonna hang up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in the greenhouse or in the shed, wherever there's some good airflow. And I'm going to um, put those in there so that they'll cure. It's gonna take two, three weeks for them to cure and get set up really nicely. I've got a few onions I can put in there too. Um, but that's that for, for garlic. It's really not that hard. If you want to see how I planted them, I'll put the link up here for that video. Um, my first time doing this, and I think I did a pretty good job. The bulbs aren't that big, like I said, but that could be the variety that I got. Maybe hard neck varieties aren't that big anyway. Um, I'm used to buying big ones in the store, but those might be soft neck because they came from somewhere else. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a good day. Mother.